You've probably been hearing all this hype about GPT-5, GPT-6, and maybe you're wondering, is any of this actually going to change how you use AI? Or is it just another tech buzzword that sounds impressive but delivers the same old results? Well, I've been tracking every single open AI release, digging through the research papers, analyzing the benchmarks, and here's what surprised me. We're way closer to AGI than most people realize. And GPT-6? It's not just going to be smarter, it's going to be different. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know. From the evolution of GPT models, all the way to what GPT-6 will actually bring to the table. More importantly, I'll show you exactly where we stand on the path to artificial general intelligence and why the next 12 to 24 months could change everything. Let's start with how we got here, because understanding the journey from GPT-1 to GPT-5.2 will help you see why GPT-6 is such a big deal. From GPT-1 to GPT-5.2, a rapid evolution. To truly appreciate where we're headed, you need to understand how fast this technology has moved. And trust me, the speed of progress here is almost hard to believe. GPT-1 launched in June 2018 with just 117 million parameters. It could generate basic text, but it was repetitive, often nonsensical, and really just a research experiment. Think of it as a proof of concept showing that transformer-based models could actually work for language tasks. Then came GPT-2 in February 2019. At 1.5 billion parameters, it was a massive leap. OpenAI actually considered it too dangerous to release fully because it could generate surprisingly realistic text. But here's the thing. It still struggled with consistency and needed serious compute power to run. Now here's where it gets interesting. GPT-3 dropped in June 2020 with 175 billion parameters, and this was the breakthrough moment. Suddenly, you had an AI that could code, answer questions, summarize documents, and do it all with minimal examples. This is when AI went from interesting tech demo to actually useful tool. GPT-3.5 and ChatGPT in late 2022 changed everything. Fine-tuned with reinforcement learning from human feedback, ChatGPT brought AI to the mainstream. Your parents were suddenly asking about it. It could hold real conversations, help with creative writing, assist with coding, and it marked a pivotal moment in public AI adoption. GPT-4 arrived in March 2023 as a multimodal model, meaning it could process both text and images. Reasoning improved dramatically. Context length expanded to 32,000 tokens, and it started passing professional exams. This is when AI assistants became genuinely capable. But wait until you hear about GPT-5. GPT-5 launched in August 2025, about 28 months after GPT-4. OpenAI called it a significant leap, with multimodal abilities across text, images, audio, and potentially video. But here's what most people don't talk about. The launch didn't go smoothly. Some users felt it fell short of expectations. OpenAI actually had to restore the older GPT-4 model for paying users due to quality issues. Even worse, researchers jailbroke GPT-5 within 24 hours of release using something called the echo chamber method. This raised serious questions about safety and alignment. Despite these hiccups, GPT-5 laid the groundwork for what came next. GPT-5.2 released in mid-December 2025, and this is where things get really impressive. OpenAI describes it as faster, more reliable, and built specifically for complex professional tasks, and the benchmarks back this up. On OpenAI's internal GDP Val benchmark, which simulates 44 different occupations like writing, marketing, legal analysis, and coding, GPT 5.2's thinking mode beat or tied human professionals on 70.9% of tasks. That's up from just 38.8% with GPT 5.1. On competition-level math problems, 
100% success rate on AME 2025. On the hardest ARC reasoning benchmark, it jumped from 17.6% to 52.9%. These aren't small improvements. This is a fundamentally more capable model. GPT 5.2, the model built for work. Here's what makes GPT 5.2 different from everything that came before. OpenAI explicitly designed it to be your AI coworker, not just a chatbot. Think about what that means. It can handle longer inputs, maintain coherence across complex documents, interpret images more accurately, and integrate with tools in ways that actually work for real business applications. Companies like Notion, Box, and Shopify have already reported that GPT 5.2 excels at long-form reasoning and practical tool usage. Data teams at Databricks and Hex found it performs exceptionally well at agentic data science and document analysis. OpenAI released GPT 5.2 in three variants to match different needs. An instant version for quick responses, a thinking version for complex reasoning, and a pro version designed for deep, research-level tasks. But here's the competitive context you need to understand. GPT 5.2's release came right as Google unveiled Gemini 3, which they called our most intelligent model, and a big step toward AGI. Reports suggest OpenAI internally called it a code red situation. The AI race is now fully accelerating, with OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, and even XAI's Grok trading rapid fire releases. For users, this competition means faster progress, but it also raises the bar for what each new model needs to deliver. Looking ahead to GPT 6, what do we know? All right, now here's what you've been waiting for. What's actually coming with GPT-6? First, the timeline. OpenAI has explicitly denied that GPT-6 will launch in 2025. When an analyst claimed it was coming by year's end, an OpenAI employee quickly shut that down. We might see a GPT-5.3 or GPT-5.5 first, with GPT-6 likely arriving in 2026 or later. However, Sam Altman has indicated that the gap between generations is shrinking. GPT-4 to GPT-5 was about 28 months. GPT-6 should come faster, possibly late 2026. Second, the features. This is where it gets exciting. Altman has emphasized that GPT-6 will be different in fundamental ways. The biggest changes? Personalization and long-term memory. Imagine an AI that actually learns your preferences, remembers your past conversations, and adapts to your specific style and needs. Not a one-size-fits-all model, but something that develops a unique flavor aligned to you over time. Altman has also talked about customizable alignment. Following new U.S. government guidelines for ideologically neutral AI, GPT-6 might let users set their preferred tone or perspective from a neutral baseline. You could ask for different approaches depending on your needs, while the model maintains safety guardrails. Third, a smoother rollout. After GPT-5's rocky launch, OpenAI is clearly focused on reliability. Expect more rigorous testing, better safety alignment, and possibly a gradual rollout that gives users choice rather than forcing everyone onto the new model immediately. Fourth, and this is the big one, the super assistant concept. Leaked internal roadmaps suggest OpenAI isn't just building GPT-6 as a model. They're building it as the engine for a completely transformed ChatGPT experience. Think. Managing your calendar, booking travel, sending emails, controlling apps, an AI agent that can actually act on your behalf. We're already seeing early steps. Browsing, code execution, even shopping checkout through Stripe integration. By the time GPT-6 arrives, it might represent the point where AI assistants evolve from clever chatbots into genuine autonomous agents. Closer to AGI, GPT-6. In context, now let's address the question everyone's really asking. Will GPT-6 bring us to AGI? Here's what the people actually building this technology are saying. Sam Altman wrote in 2024, we are now confident we know how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. That's a remarkable statement. 
It suggests OpenAI believes the blueprint is essentially complete. It's now about execution and scaling. Altman predicted that by 2025, we'd see AI systems that join the workforce and materially improve company output. Looking at GPT 5.2 being used for professional tasks, that prediction is playing out right now. His timeline for AGI? About five years, meaning around 2029. But he also suggested it might arrive with surprisingly little societal disruption at first. Dario Amode, CEO of Anthropic, is even more aggressive. He predicted AGI could arrive by 2026 or 2027, saying there's no ceiling below the level of humans. There's a lot of room at the top for AIs. Even Elon Musk has claimed XAI or others could achieve AGI by 2026. If these predictions are right, GPT-6, expected around 2026, could be hitting that critical threshold. But there are hurdles. Data and funding constraints could slow progress. Training these models requires enormous high-quality datasets, and we may be running out of readily usable internet text. The compute requirements are staggering. Billions of dollars and new chip fabrication plants. OpenAI itself has faced financial strain. Though recent funding rounds have helped. Whether GPT-6 achieves AGI or just gets us tantalizingly close depends on overcoming these engineering challenges. What AGI might actually look like. There's ongoing debate about what constitutes AGI, but most definitions center on an AI that can perform virtually any intellectual task a human can. If GPT-6 doesn't fully achieve that, it could very well be the first that feels extremely close. Imagine expert-level performance across dozens of fields science, law, arts, plus the ability to handle unseen tasks by learning on the fly. With expected memory and tool use abilities, GPT-6 could operate as a general problem solver rather than a specialized chatbot. Not necessarily conscious or human-like, but from a capability standpoint, as capable as a human consultant in most knowledge domains. Each incremental update has already shown more general intelligence. GPT 5.2 can draft legal contracts, debug code, compose music, and interpret images. GPT 6 will push that even further. As we prepare for GPT 6, it's incredible to reflect on how rapidly we've progressed. In 2018, GPT 1 could barely hold a conversation. By 2025, GPT 5.2 is surpassing human professionals on the majority of a wide benchmark of work tasks. GPT 5.2 shows that OpenAI is making AI more practical, reliable, and integrated into daily work. It's a powerful tool, but also a signpost that even bigger things are coming. GPT 6 is expected to bring not just more raw power, but smarter ways of interacting, personalization, memory, and autonomy that could transform how we use AI in our lives. If GPT 5.2 is about AI becoming a coworker, GPT-6 might be about AI becoming a partner. One thing is certain, the race toward AGI is accelerating. OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, and others are pushing each other to new heights. In the next couple of years, we're likely to see AI systems that were previously confined to science fiction. Ensuring these systems are developed safely and responsibly is as important as making them powerful. OpenAI's iterative approach testing models in real-world use, learning, and improving, will be crucial as we move forward. For now, GPT-5.2 gives us a glimpse of what cutting-edge AI can do. GPT-6 promises to raise that bar even higher. If the timelines hold, we may not have to wait long to see it in action, and to find out how it reshapes the conversation about AI on the path to artificial general intelligence. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because the AI landscape is evolving fast, and I'll be covering every major development as it happens. Drop a comment below. What feature are you most excited to see in GPT-6? Is it the personalization, the memory capabilities, or the super assistant functionality? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.